I decided to define color modes because it is very universal and you could use that knowledge on many graphic or text processing softwares. You could use on Photoshop, on 3D Studio Max, on InDesign, Illustrator, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Paint, Web Design, Application Design or so. As I mentioned, we have different color modes. In the Microsoft Office Word, we access two color mode. If I open the color picker, in the custom, we have color model RGB and HSL. RGB, as I mentioned, stands for red, green, and blue. And HSL stands for hue, saturation, and luminosity. We have other colors mode like monochromatic, HSU and HSP, which it is almost same with HSL, sRGB, CMYK, etc. On the RGB, because we're using 8-bit color depth, our range is between 0 to 255, which is count 256 range. If I set more than 255, let's say 300, as you see, will give you warning, the measurement must be between 0 and 255. If you want to know why it is this range, let me quickly show you the logic. It is 8-bit depth color. 8-bit depth color means we have 2 power of 8. If you calculate this, which means 2 multiply by 8 times to number 2, we'll get the result 256. Let me bring the calculator. So 2 multiply by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. You see, we have 256. Why this 2? Because computer, it is binary, and the binary only knows 2 digits, 0 and 1, which it is based on that. Let's not get so deep about that. You could read more about that computer basic logics, binary or so on internet, which it is totally irrelevant with our course topic. And you know, if we count from 0 to 255, the result is 256. If I said 0, 1, 2, how many digits we have? We have 3 digits, right? That's the logic of 8-bit depth. So, if I go to the color pickers again, the custom and RGB, we have red, green, and blue. These are for display standards. Do not confuse with CMYK or printing stuff. This is for display. And as you realized, because all values are zero, so we have pure black. If I set all values to 255, we get pure white. And note that the grayscale range, always all three channels have same value. You see? All right. Now I set 0. If I set 255, 0 and 0, it is pure red. For pure green, of course, we could say 255 for green channel and for blue also there. And we could combine them together and you will get the result. Note that here, red, green. So if you combine these two values, you will get the yellow color. 255 for red and 255 for green. We have pure yellow, you know how we could make cyan, green and blue. So green and blue, you see? And of course for magenta, blue and red. All right. Now how we could make it darker? Decrease the value, of course. Let's say 155. 100, you see, it's getting darker and darker. And for making brighter, set the other channels same value more. If I set 50 and 50, we get brighter red. 100, 
and 100 you see getting brighter red so that's the tip here and you could work with them about the hexadecimal also if you need to know it is based on 16 definition 0 to 9 a b c d e and f pure black it is all zero two first digits it is for red next two for green and next two for blue so if i said 255 you see we have ff which it is the maximum maybe you confuse what is it just as a quick introduction we have zero to nine and then we're going to a b c d e f that's the hexadecimal 10 digits here and 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so it is 16 unlike the 8 bit so it is 16 character let me go inside of color picker how we could set the pure white with hexadecimal of course the f it is maximum value set the all values to f there it is now we have pure white all red green and blue are 255 or set the hex decimal i think that's enough for rgb we are not going more deep inside of color modes there because this course is about word processing not the graphic fundamental and in the hue saturation and luminosity we have the hue start from the red and going there saturation and luminosity let me set the saturation to 255 and for luminosity set the middle value which we set the 127 it is middle of 256 they divided by half and rounded the decimal value and the hue is your color as you see the zero it is red by increasing value it's shifting the hue value how many pure colors we have one two three four five and six here is getting red again it is the same so you could divide it for example if i want to go to the middle which is a cyan i could set 127 if i decrease the value by this step like for example let's say yellow is getting something around 45 and we have around the 93 you see they are hex value i think that's enough for color fundamentals in the next video we will work with more text effects overall